day, guys, and welcome to the very first episode of Tagged, a brand new vodcast out of AFL Studios, proudly recorded on Wurundjeri land. I'm Ruby Slicer, and I'm joined with my co-host, Sarah Hosking says, how exciting is this? I can't wait, Rubes. Each week we will be diving into some shit talk conversations. <sighs> I cannot wait. It's going to be a heap of chats. So along with the tagged list, we'll be talking about pop culture, anything and everything to do with social media, a little bit more about footy talk and the inside of AFLW. Yeah, absolutely. I think I guess we know what tagged means. I mean, we play footy. There's a few different... Um, meanings to it so we'll just run through those really quickly you've got the social media uh, meaning for tags so tagged in insta all that kind of thing hashtags as well that go around tiktok all the the crazes going around we might talk about a bit of that if there's things popping up you've got the graffiti meaning of tags when people going around and doing their tag on walls all around melbourne and everywhere but i guess the most important one is the aflw meaning so when you are the best on the ground you are getting tagged. And you've been a bit of a tagger in your time, to be fair, haven't yes, you? Yes, always on the other end. I'm typically the tagger. So you are pretty much you're putting body on contests, everything, annoying your teammate Making or your life opposition. Making help for absolutely, others, basically. Absolutely. Being yeah. a pest. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So I guess that's the main one. When you are the best, you get tagged. And that's something we're going to be doing here. We're going to be tagging people, things, people we're interested in, certain situations we're going to be discussing things. So that's exciting. You're just going to tune mm. in. People are going to tune in and just hear us talking trash for 30 minutes every week literally anything and everything yeah so first topic what we're going to do is get our listeners to get to know us a little bit more so i'm going to go through a little bit of a quick fire question round so right we'll on. just take in turns and we'll both answer the same question perfect All sounds right? good ready to go what afl club do you play for the pies uh, you? richmond perfect who'd you support growing up st kilda Rio, WA girl. What's your coffee order? I am a large almond cappuccino with extra chocolate essential. Oh, that's a bit bougie. I know. Yep. Skinny latte for me. Match winning goal or game saving mark? Have to go match winning goal. I'm you? a defender, but I still reckon match winning goal. you got to celebrate yeah, that. Yeah, no, I 100%. think so. Yeah. Anyone would in their right mind. Yep. Now, would you rather read a book or see the film? If you asked me... A year ago, I would have said see the film, but now I'm, I'm a bit of a book nuff now. What about you? Definitely a film. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Save my time. Definitely um, I think a lot of people know this about you. You've got a twin sister, but any I other do. siblings or is it just the two of you? I do. I've actually got two siblings. So Jess and a brother, Andy. Well, you've been hiding Andy you. a bit. I, I know. He's a little redhead. Yeah. Little redhead. <laughs> yes. Is yes, that red under that up. blonde or it what? It might be. It might be. Oh, Save yeah. my secrets. Don't let them yeah. out. <laughs> How many have you got? I've got older brother, Jake, older sister, Jess, and mm. younger sister, Mia, who was definitely the mistake. So Big family. Yeah. Yep. No, big family. They're all back in WA though so now yes. have you got any fears no i'm super brave yeah <laughs> no so brave uh, probably like a little bit scared of spiders but like okay yeah like my friends have to come over to get them out of my house but yeah. like i think that's fair enough i reckon i've seen some social media yeah, somewhere where no, you're screaming definitely. in the house yes there is yeah. but I'm, yeah i'm pretty brave what okay. about you uh i'm scared of flying Wow, yeah, that works players. well being a footballer yeah, and having I know. to go across the country. I know, I yeah. know. I manage it. Just, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm happy good. to put myself on a plane. I just don't like the whole experience from A to B. Okay, yeah. right. Yeah. Fair Fun enough. Fact. Is it the turbulence or what's the. Yeah, so like takeoff landing is great. I'm okay with that. And then right. somewhere in between, yeah. No good. Shit show. In my yeah. head. Like, plane's going down, plane's All going right. down. Right. Um, Netflix or Stan? Netflix. Yes, yeah, I Netflix. Yeah, yep. yep. 100% every day of the week. Yeah. Last one. Biggest ick. All right, my biggest ick is when you are in a room full of people mm. or like with your friends hanging out if you're just chilling on the couch and someone is playing like videos or TikToks on their phone that is like so loud that everyone else can hear it. Like if you're, even if it's just you and another person, which do you tell me if you or Jess, if which one you are in this, <laughs> you're sitting there, you're scrolling and it's like loud videos and I'm like, I don't need to hear that. I know I'm definitely guilty of doing it with Jess. Yeah. Jess definitely does it but I just can't pay attention to two things at once. So right. if she's talking to me at the same time, I'm invested in the video. Okay. And she gets angry at that. But she can do both. Yeah, she can do both. Right. She's the, she's yeah. the multi-talented yeah. one. Have you? Um, you oh, I'm kind of, yeah, I'm pretty, I don't know, scattered. So yeah. I, like even today you were trying to talk to me and I was like, there's a phone call coming <laughs> through and I'm like, I'm scared. I can't have a conversation. No, that was one of those embarrassing moments where no, I was. think you're talking to me and I keep yeah, going exactly. with Yeah, exactly. I'm blatantly ignoring you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hey, Look, we're going to go to the tagged list, all right? Yep. So, because when you are the best, you get tagged. And I want to put on uh, on the blower, Saucy Amorcy, a beautiful cafe we went to. 
I didn't actually tell you it is on my doorstep. So I made you drive <laughs> 20 minutes to – I literally walked out the front of my apartment and got – got to the cafe so that was pretty selfish rude, of me rude. i know but it was beautiful wasn't it it's like a little morning. it's like a little paris getaway it was in i Saint loved Kilda. it i actually do that i loved it great coffee so i think each week rubes and i are going to head out to a different cafe so whether or not it's recommendations from the listeners at home anyone watching we want to hear what recommendations you've got for cafes but yep. i love saucy and morsi i couldn't quite pronounce it when i first went there or looked at it <laughs> i did love how many dogs were there though yep. there were little puppies walking in the it's cafe like Puppy it was great. School. Yeah, it yeah. was great. So for anyone um, wanting some recommendations, mm. highly recommend that. Yeah, that sometimes they even it's like a restaurant at night and they have like people playing like saxophone out the yeah. front. So it's literally it's like you're in Paris and you're just yeah. like wee wee. It was you know great. I mean? We took a photo. We'll share the photo. Yeah, later we'll share. On. We'll put great. the photo up yeah. there for anyone watching. But yeah, but yeah no. Any other it. recommendations? Please, please send them through. Let yeah. us know. I do want to talk about something that has been trending, something that's been big, and I have been watching it. Have you seen the new Netflix doco, Beckham? I haven't, okay. but I've seen snippets. Okay. Now and I reckon a, I know what you're going to bring up. There's a snippet in particular that is hilarious. Uh, going around at the moment, Victoria Beckham is in her little part of the interview where she is sitting there explaining that she and her family are a working class family. I've seen this and it is hilarious. And Bex, you know, Bex jumps out behind the door and he goes, no, now be honest, <laughs> be honest. And she is trying to He's be like, honest. One word about, answers. Yes. Yeah. Now this is hilarious. So I reckon there is a new way of seeing whether or not someone is working class. Right. So I'm planting a question to you, Ruby yeah. Slasher. What car... Did your mum or dad drive you to school in? Well, we lived 500 metres from the school, so mm -hmm. we were off on our mer merry way walking. But the car that we would have gotten around in, in as a family of six was an old 1998 Toyota Hilux. So it was the six-seater. <laughs> you had my seat being the third child. Um, I My seat was in between the driver's seat and the the front passenger seat so it was like the tiny little it's basically little I don't know how it's legal literally yeah, yeah. I do not then know how I don't it's legal think they are anymore, yeah, I'm gonna try to think that that's not because they were most willing to lose me in a car <laughs> and I'll try not to think of it like that but it was like the baby Mia in the middle at the back and the two older <laughs> siblings side and me just them willing to really risk me in the front so so, so you'd consider your family a working class family I think I've got a plumber and a nurse and yeah, a Toyota Hilux good, I think, and that car it got did its innings like we all <laughs> learned how to drive manuals in it like we well and truly what about you? Because now, you're a peninsula, you you grew up down I in the peninsula, did. didn't you? So I this did. will be interesting. I did. Now, Victoria Beckham explained that she was from a working class family and she that was got driven in a Rolls Royce. <laughs> no, I am from a very hard working class family. Yeah, but one I, word answers, one word answers. I'm really beating around the bush here. <laughs> My dad um, drove me to school in a Mercedes AMG. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Uh, no, but I do have a follow-up question because I thought I'd be loaded with this. Yep. Did you buy your own first car? Because I think that's a great part. Mine was it. a hand-me-down that it was a my... A hand-me-down? Yeah, hand-me-down. A hand-me-down? A hand-me-down? Hand-me? Hand -me -down? Hand -me? Do Is you know how hand <laughs> hand Hand-me? Hand-me-down? Right. I, we always, I just always <laughs> say a hand-me-down. Hand a hammy down. Oh, well, <laughs> hammy down. Um, I'm pretty sure it's hammy down, Sarah, yeah, but we'll okay. discuss hand that later. Hammy down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense now that you say yes. that, though. Did it's you like, hand something down? Do you know that where it's like Tupperware? And yeah. it's, it's, instead of Tupperware and he's been saying his whole life, that's like me. Oh, um, good. Sorry. Yeah, no, mine picking. was a, uh, it was like my pops. Mm -hmm. It was a X trail um, and it blew up, I reckon, a couple months in, which was understandable because it had done the rounds. What, yeah. what about you? No, I. this is why I'm obviously surrounding myself with success here right. is that I bought my first okay. car. Okay, yeah, So yes. I worked really hard Hard to worker, working car, class. I'm, from, I'm very working class. No, that's fair yes, enough. Hey, yes. Well, I mean, the Becks, they are a power couple. I can't they wait are. to watch the series. It does look really interesting. But another power couple that has been everywhere, like they are being spoken about more than anyone mm -hmm. at the moment is Taylor Swift. Now, I'm not a big Swifty. I might get hate for saying that. I'm not a massive Swifty. I'm actually more of a Travis Kelsey fan. I think really? he is hilarious. Um, and anyone that doesn't know who Travis Kelsey is, um, he is an NFL player for Kansas City Chiefs. And he has supposedly been just put on the map for dating yes. Taylor Swift. So They've been plastered everywhere. They everywhere. Everywhere. Like, I was just looking up. He's now, after their, like, debut, she went to his NFL game. Mm. It blew up. It was insane. 
he is now the third most search searched US like that is insane. person on online, only behind Beyonce and Taylor Swift. But literally which is in a matter insane. of overnight, isn't it? It's literally, crazy. he's been in three Super Bowls. He's like all of this. He's huge. Like yep. he's an incredible athlete. And across those three Super Bowls, his following has grown double the amount, or like more than all it those Super insane. Bowls put together. Or like his Instagram following. It's insane just by dating one person. And so that impact is nuts. So that really shows the impact of like superstardom, I guess. But Imagine How difficult would that be for how, him? Well, I was reading somewhere that he is turning up to his games and at the NFL, you would capitalise on Taylor Swift being there, obviously, yeah. surely, and you'd capitalise on that relationship. But mm. he's turning up to his games and they're playing her songs as the hype-up songs. Now, surely if you are an opponent, now I think of being in opposition, surely you would be ripping into oh, him Oh, you'd be games. singing to him. When, yeah. you're, when you're lining up to him, you would <laughs> be singing to... It's a love story, yeah. baby, just say... <laughs> Yeah, yes. exactly. You would. You would honestly, you'd be singing to him. You'd be doing whatever you could. But like they're plastering her yeah. every, I don't know if you um, saw like videos of the game that she went to go watch, but like they were plastering her after every play. It was like Taylor Swift sitting next to Mama Kelsey in the, in Travis Kelsey's box and they were hammering it. You know what I mean? So what, I guess the hard thing, right, is as an athlete, how you want to be known for what you're doing, yeah. right? That's probably never going to happen for him ever again. He yeah. is going to be known as one, either Taylor Swift's boyfriend yep. or the ex that she wrote a wicked album about. I know. You know what I mean? I imagine after, like, post-breakup, whether or not, I hope them both are loving, happy relationship, yeah. but if there's a breakup, imagine oh, the songs that are come out about that. Imagine, and also imagine him playing at any yeah. other team's venue. They would be cranking those 100%. Tunes. Now, I wonder what it would do to his performance. So he's an amazing player, but do mm. you think, like, as a, obviously you see some of your top level players, as we yeah. mentioned before, even Bex, like, wait till you watch it, but going through some of that media hype and how you just stay focused on a game. It's all part of being the top level, though, yeah. isn't it? Like, yeah. you got to, I, I mean, we are to a far mm. smaller, like, scale what? to that, but we, if you have things going on in your life that you need to. You walk out if you have a shitty you? week and, and something's gone wrong or something in your preparation hasn't gone to mm. the way that you want it to you can't you know you can't do it you need to find a way to switch on and be ready for a game and i guess i mean they'd have all the resources in the world and stuff to help with that but it's just crazy it is it crazy is. what has happened it is to that it? couple it is honestly insane all right so we're going to jump into locker room tea which is a little bit of insider footy knowledge so something from the week across the couple of weeks and we're just going to delve in whether it's a topic, we're going to discuss a bit more footy content. Yeah, dissect it yeah, inside a little bit the of four walls. Maybe some, yeah, something the from inner inside. workings of our footy brains, if you will. What does everyone want to hear about? Is it the inside the four walls? The first topic I've got here right, on this week's game, you were actually out at Springfield. Yes. Um, against Brisbane. And I saw something very interesting happen in the game. And mm. you got a nice smirk on your face because mm -hmm. I reckon you know where I'm going with this. Dakota Davidson, on the yep. mark. She stands there, wide leg, all of a sudden she started dancing on the mark. Now, this is outside 50. So maybe if someone's going for goal, but outside of 50, she's popped her hands behind her ears. She starts wiggling nice her little hips, boogie. Yep. little boogie. She's pulling faces. And yeah. then I just want to know whether you rate it or hate it. What do you think? Look, if the person's going for goal, you can do what you like. I'm not a fan, mm -hmm. but you can do what you like. But when you get run around and it end results in a goal for the team, you pro it's probably not ideal for you, is it? I'm, I'm not a fan, but that's just that's just my thoughts. But I don't know. What do you think? Uh, well, I saw this happen. I, th I mean, obviously, I love the content that comes out of it. So mm. everyone, there's two sides of the fence. Yeah. Everyone either loves it or hates it. Now, I loved what happened afterwards because I think it's quite funny. Dakota Davidson is known for doing her funny dances. Yeah, and, and loves very, a celebration. Yeah, absolutely loves yep. it. Gets around the whole competition. Everyone loves that. But what Grace Campbell did afterwards, <laughs> Bree Davy kicked the goal. But Grace Campbell actually Grace went, Campbell was the one that ran around her on the mark. Yes. For, for, context. for context. Yes. But then Grace Campbell ran up to the Dakota, Dakota <laughs> Davidson afterwards 
and did the exact same <laughs> dance moves right back in her uh, face. See, if, now if I rate that. If you're going to give it out, it, you got to get it. Hundred percent. I, I love that. I thought it was hilarious by Grace. Injuries. Give us an injury update. I know where you're at. Yeah, it's it's not ideal for me. It's um round six was Pender's. Mm. Hopefully the game that I was going to be back. Um, just for for context, I had a foot injury. Uh, for listeners, had a foot injury uh, four weeks before round one. Um, and it just hasn't really gotten better. So we tried to go pretty aggressive with it early on to get me up for round one against the D's and then didn't quite work out for us. So then had to go conservative to try and be there for the back end. Um, and it's just feet are really tricky. Mm. Um, but I think the, the hardest part is just the mental toll yeah. is like feeling. Talk to me about that. That's, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's, it's really hard when you're an athlete and, it's such I guess the season is such a small part of our year and it's the rest of the year you're working towards this point to then sit on the sidelines and have to watch your teammates and um that's really tricky um and it's exciting for other girls that get opportunities you know in absent as absence of players like and I'm loving helping those girls develop in in new roles that are getting these opportunities but it's really hard when you see games tick away and go, that's one less game that I get yeah. to play this year. You um, can't help but jump to that. Absolutely, game yeah. Like I mean, we've we've got what four more games left yeah. of the home and away season, and and I'm not really sure whether I'll get up. We're hopeful, yeah. but um, it's really going to be a week by week thing now. Yeah. We're not putting a timeline on it. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so that's really hard. The, I went home for a little while just to reset. The club were really great in that, and they just said, get home back to back to WA. Um, see your boyfriend, see your family and, and just come back ready to hit the ground running. And, yeah. and that really helped, but setbacks do do really hurt the mental. Absolutely. Yeah. But, I mean, I went up to Brisbane, saw the girls get that win and that just put a beam up on it and made me want to go, right, I need to get back out there. But what about you? Your your hammy. On. You're, 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 you're <laughs> hanging hammy, on by a string. Time, hammy, not hammy down, yeah. <laughs> yeah hammy My down. hammy, um, it's holding on at the moment. Yeah. yeah, so I had an injury last season and... Um, tore some of the tendon from the bone so we went for the uh, safer option just to try and rehab it a little bit and I've just managed to tore uh, tore a little bit more tear a little bit more of the tendon so um, the aim is just try and settle it a little bit um, I'm hoping and I don't know if I can let the cat out of the bag but hoping I'll be right next week or yeah. in the next couple it's of weeks just to get through so yeah and I mean your sister's sidelined just as well, sideline as well. I know our house is a happy house yeah apartment. far out I can imagine um, yeah no she she's good she had a syndesmosis injury so so she had surgery on her ankle, yeah. um, just got out of her cast last week. She is loving the socials at the moment. So um, follow few, us on TikTok. TikToks yeah. have been popping Hosking up. Twins. Yeah. Hosking Twins. We have a joint TikTok account. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so she is out of the cast in a moon boot. She just went and got herself one of those little scooters. Oh, yeah. no. Oh, and I can guarantee I'm throwing her under the bus here. It is not for the lack of having to walk around is purely for the social content that she's going to get out of it. I can imagine, definitely. Yeah. All the questions. Yeah. She, and you'll be stealing that too. Oh, I will. And 100%. I will, don't worry, I'll be playing pranks on her. So again, yeah. I'm also open to the listeners, please. I'm going to chuck up some, uh, a few little stories here and there. I want some ideas of some pranks that I can play, whether it's on Ruby or whether it's on Jess. I'm throwing Great. you under the bus here. Perfect. I want to make sure that I get some pranks in for you this season. So, yeah. Well, um, I actually want to quickly ask you, when you're... You know how people say like you, there's like that weird twin telepathy yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. When your si- when your twin sister gets injured, yeah, what is that like for you? Like because it's it's hard watching a teammate it's get injured, gut right? Wrenching. Right? Yeah, it is like it is so gut wrenching, and you can't help. Even if we're on the field at the same time, I just remember I was around the same contest when it happened. I, I was one, I handballed the ball to her. Like I vividly remember everything, and then you, I like could hear her scream. It is gut-wrenching like I've got so many whacked messed up stories of twin telepathy stuff Jess was born with a cleft lip and palate so has had plenty of surgeries but like when we were three four months old Jess went in for a first surgery mum and dad had me in the in the hospital at the same time while we're waiting as soon as she's gone under and gone under the knife I got temperatures and then the doctors are having to take me away to do like something's going on something's wrong the second Jess came out of surgery, fine. That is yeah. incredible. So there's, there's, I've, I could go on for days, but I've got that many messed up right, stories. We're gonna yeah. have to right, maybe go one a week. Maybe I know, one a week. absolutely. Another time, another story. No, that is incredible. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, wow. Yeah. That's nuts. It's, it, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Quasi. Quasi. That quasi. was one. That we were waiting for the R to turn into a W and I think that was it. The quasi. We've seen our little promos and sometimes yeah. we turn into baby talk, right? Yeah, quasi. That's it. Ruby and Sour. Yeah. Oh my God. Baby talk is going to make me throw up. Um, yeah. Right. Now, well, um, we're finished with the with the injury talk. I want to chat about unspoken Collingwood won the grand final. This is huge again. Now in AFL world, this has been going off. AFL men's Collingwood won the grand final. Being part of that inner sanctum, I want to know what it's like. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was incredible um, to see the boys, how they were all throughout this year and I guess having previous years to compare it to. Mm. It was it was insane. Yeah. Um, and you seeing and the girls went? Uh, we went to went the to game, game. Yeah. yeah. We had, we were out there. We were sitting the with a lot of the like. staff. Oh, it's incredible. It, yeah. it looked it, it was seriously one of the most insane games I've ever been to. Yeah. Um, Where and were then your seats? We were on level one, like sort of uh, kind of pocket yeah. side, like out of the sun was yeah. nice. It was a so stinking hot the, day. Not with the Collingwood cheer squad. No, oh, not quite. Have, that would have been great. I know, it would have <laughs> been. Um, but no, it was incredible, like just to see. It, they're just, they never mm. looked unconvincing yeah. i'm not sure and it, but that they had that feeling all year even in their yeah. losses it was like they'll be back and yeah. i think the grand final felt that way as well and then just seeing i guess all of their hard work and i think you can look at it in like so many different ways like you see boys like pendles and steel that have put so their entire careers into this um and have been chasing it since 2010 and then you've got boys like oleg markov and billy frampton who have new, yeah. who are new into the club who have their impact they've made I, I knew bill from back home back in wa and to see him come over and talk to him about his past experiences at other clubs and how much he loves it and then not playing for a few weeks and then playing in the grand final it, it's insane you, you just hear it and you go oh you and you look things. around we went to the grand final um dinner afterwards yep. that the club put on and you're just looking at them going yeah. they couldn't believe it you know and you can imagine they were on a mad one by then but well, just 100 i yeah. you know what i was looking at you know everyone goes through the day cost i was looking at nick day instagram story and this is of the, that dinner party yeah by the end there was someone up on stage somehow my best friend from the mornington has managed to Snuck end up in, in the back <laughs> yeah I'm like, how the hell have you done it she's yeah. a mad pie supporter but obviously found was, her way in. yeah it well, was family friends there was obviously some sponsors and that kind yeah. of thing. yeah well you got to richmond 2020 yeah i did yeah i did so, so in one of the grand final years but that would have been a pretty different experience while well, we we're in COVID, and yeah. i remember watching from my lounge room <laughs> That is insane. It was bizarre. It was yeah. So, do you, so we you didn't probably get didn't get to feel absolutely not. No. Well, there was nothing over. I think at that at that stage we were only allowed out of the house just yeah. to go into training. So we still had those passes to get into training, and it was God. I don't like. I couldn't tell you the atmosphere of what it was like yeah. to win a premiership because we didn't get that whole down Swan Street feeling. No, that's it. The feeling around like the club. No, and, exactly. Yeah. The oval yeah. going nuts and yeah, yeah. It's uh, crazy times. Yeah. And yeah. can you? I know this might be off topic, but can you give us a best on ground for the boys? Did anyone? Oh, you, do like, extremely well. You can't. You seriously can't go past Bobby. Like it's once he'd had his first like two yep. in that first quarter, it was like, oh, he's on. You know what I mean? Yep. Oh, do you mean for the best, best piss off ground? I mean, oh, yeah, best ground, best Darcy on ground. Darcy, Darcy, yeah. Oh, right, right, Darcy Cameron, <laughs> Darcy Cameron. I'm glad we got there. Uh, yeah, I know. Um, another good WA boy, Darcy Cameron. Yeah. So it's good. they can put in a good and shift. He was out there singing. Yeah, yeah, sense. that was yeah, Darcy. Yeah, yeah. so he is hilarious, yep. and he was. Um, yeah, that it was very funny watching them go yeah. nuts oh um, it would have been amazing yeah. what a amazing. time what a time absolutely now well that wraps us up for today i think um we've done pretty well for our first segment we i do want to pump again i want everyone to jump on board follow us on the socials again this is called tagged tell us what you like what you love what you don't maybe what you want to hear next week and we will definitely either get back to you chuck it in for next week's episode um, but make sure you do tune in as i mentioned subscribe and recommend yeah, love it. Give us a like and we can't wait to serenade your ears every week for the next 10 weeks. We might have to turn the microphone off. Yeah, we might have to. Yeah. Righto. Good to see you, Sez. Talk next week. Thanks, Rubes.